Hello people, in this video we want to look at the lymphatic drainage of cervix. Why? First of all, where is cervix? Why do we want to look at this? So here you can see that um, this is your cervix and this is your uterus, isn't it? So your cervix is here and this is your uterus. So you need to know the drainage of the cervix, right? To understand better the progress of its carcinoma, etc. Isn't it? So cervical uh, carcinoma is so common. That is why they are asking you this question in the exam. Okay. So let us look at uh, cervical carcinoma. This is a specimen of carcinoma of the cervix. Okay. It is showing marked exophytic growth, they are saying. So here you can see that they are showing around beside it the nodes also, the lymph node they are showing here. So this is your, they are showing the uterine artery here and there is some exophytic growth. Okay. Radical hysterectomy they have done in this case. Okay. So look at the lymphatic drainage of the cervix. Mainly understand that guys, the lymphatic drainage of the cervix, you have some primary group. This you remember. Okay. This is more important for you to remember because the secondary group anyways, all groups, uh, all the primary groups will finally drain into the secondary group, which is nothing but the common iliac and the superior lumbar. Let's find these. Hold on. First, let's find the secondary group, common iliac and the superior lumbar. We can see the common iliac here. Superior lumbar is where. So, every primary group will finally drain into the secondary groups, which is the common iliac and the superior lumbar. Okay. So, secondary you have understood. Now, what we have to understand is just the primary drainage of this cervical of, of the cervix okay so you have the pa parametrial group internal iliac external iliac so if you remember one you can remember the other so i will just mark this as something like this internal iliac and external iliac obturator group sacral group parametrial group okay so everything that is around your cervix what is there around your cervix you have your sacrum you have your iliac external iliac okay obturator okay parametrial material means what let us look at this. So basically here you can see from the cervix it is going to parametrial but this is inconsistent so they have put some dotted lines here. But what is, um, uh, let us see, external iliac, internal iliac, internal iliac, external iliac, these two things you understood both the uh, left and right are same. So it is very symmetrical. So you can write internal iliac, external iliac, parametrial, obturator, then sacral they said, right? Here they have written pre-sacral. So, inconsistent, they have marked in dotted lines. So, what and all will you remember here? So, these are the primary, whatever you are seeing here, right? These are the primary. Parametrial, external, iliac, internal, iliac, obturator, sacral. These five are primary. What is it secondary? Secondary is this common iliac and the superior lumbar. That becomes the secondary. Okay? So, you understood the primary groups. Parametrial, that is something around, is it? Parametrial group, it is inconsistent. Internal iliac group, obturator group, external iliac, in that you have the anterior and the medial group, sacral group. So, all of these have some word called group. Focus here. Group, 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 group. Add one group, okay, for, for all these words. Secondary group, what are you saying? Common iliac and superior lumbar. Which color shall we use for that? Purple. Common iliac and superior lumbar group. Always you have to use the word group, group, group. Did you understand people? Why exactly are you bothered about the lymphatics? Because you can see normal epithelium of the cervix is becoming CIN, CIN2, CIN3 invasive carcinoma. So, it can become carcinoma. That is why they are telling you about this lymphatic drainage. If you remember, CIN word stands, not C is nothing but cervical, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. Here you have CIN1, CN2, CN3. After this only it will go to carcinoma. See whatever you are looking here in this Bethesda uh, system, this is still before the carcinoma, right? So this is uh, intraepithelial lesion. So finally it will go to neoplasia. CIN1, 2 and 3, okay? One more nice photo is there about uh, cervical uh, drainage. Just look at this. This, this uh, diagram actually you can draw in the exam. See you draw a uterus, right? You draw the tubes, right? You draw the uterus, you draw the cervix. This is kind of a more appealing to me. So, from the cervix, where is it going? Parametrial. Then you have the internal iliac and external iliac. Here they have mentioned the obturator. And then what else? Internal iliac is here, external iliac is here. Okay. What else is missing in this diagram, guys? 
something is missing isn't it the sacral total five you should have for primary parametrial obturator internal external and sacral so those five you can draw right and uh, for uh, secondary you will say common iliac and uh, superior lumbar right okay so if you want you can draw this diagram in the exam bye bye